Hey, what's going on guys? It's Stormwalk Studios. Uh, today I'm doing another custom review, um, but it's a little bit different than what I've been doing way before now. Uh, I know you guys are used to me doing like clone reviews and Iron Man reviews, but today I'm doing another Star Wars review. Today what we have here is my own custom dark Lord of the Sith. Uh, not a specific name, it's just a custom Sith Lord that I, me and my friend made. Um, you should go check him out. His name is iLegoKid. Um, if I don't have him down in the description of this video, you can check him out on my uh, channel. But getting back to this minifigure, uh, this minifigure is completely custom except for a few things, and I'll get to it in a second. Um, but I'm a really big fan of Star Wars The Old Republic, uh, the video game, and uh, I'm just really interested in the uh, the outfits and the gear that the uh, the Sith, basically, storyline has to offer. And when I saw this Lego face and this Lego toy, or torso and pants, I just figured it would be like the perfect chance to turn it into a uh, custom Sith Lord. So what I did was, if you uh, go back um, to like a catalog or something like that, I don't have one with me. Um, in one of the Lego minifigure series, there is sort of like a robot, like a dark robot. Um, here, hold on one second and I'll get you guys the helmet. Okay, so this is the helmet it comes with, so maybe that'll help you guys out. But uh, this minifigure comes with this face, the torso, and the pants. Um, those are the basically the only things on him that aren't really custom. Um, but overall, yeah, this uh, this minifigure is uh, is a really great representation of a uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic uh, Sith Lord. Um, y you see, uh, this uh, like shoulder armor is uh, an old set. Um, if anybody remembers the Alpha Team sets from uh, the early 2000s, uh, the uh, main antagonist had this uh, sh shoulder pad, and I used that, and I painted the little triangle on his uh, on the chest piece um, to give it more of a Sith representation or uh, Sith marking. I painted it uh, dark red with a little bit of silver in it to give it sort of a uh, shining and uh, superior uh, or like a superior look over himself. And then I got a, a plain old black uh, hood. Um, here, let me try to get it off. Here we go. I gave him a plain black hood and uh, repainted it black to give it sort of a dull color. Painted a red stripe on it that goes all the way to the back of it, as well as cutting off a good portion of the hood altogether. So that because when I put the hood on this minifigure, it wouldn't go down if it was just a normal black hood. But considering I cut uh, a tremendous part of the hood off, now when I put it on the minifigure, it fits nearly perfectly on it, and it just gives an amazing look to the face and uh, how truly dark this, uh, this minifigure is. Um, but to give you guys uh, something else to look at, um, here's the face. It, it really does have a really close, uh, or has a lot of similarity to the uh, new Old Republic LEGO Star Wars set that comes out this summer, with actually within a couple of days, um, the uh, Jedi Defender class starship that's from the Old Republic uh, line. Um, that comes with a Sith, a Sith Marauder as well, and Overall, these two minifigures look very similar. It's just um, different colors and different places, uh, completely different face design. But, I mean, you can just look at it. That face looks really awesome. Um, perfect face for a Sith uh, a Marauder or Sith Lord. Um, but, yeah, that's the face. Uh, as I was saying, here is the shoulder pads. Um, really cool. This all used to be just plain black. Here's a sort of back look at it. It almost looks as if uh, this used to be, or this could be a uh, Savajo Press shoulder pads. Um, uh, when I customized uh, my original Savajo Press, this was the uh, shoulder pad I gave him, but uh, considering they came out with a much better version of him, I just kept, I got rid of my custom and kept the uh, the original Lego one. But um, yeah, since I took off the shoulder uh, piece, you can now look at the torso, and you can see the great representation of uh, um, the original minifigure that came from the minifigure series. Um, you can see a lot of robotic or cyborg uh, 
you know, detailing on it, uh, which could include the uh, the little red circle with all the wires and the uh, sort of spark of electricity kind of look on it, uh, which continues down to the uh, sort sort of the uh, the uh, the knees and the uh, upper leg and uh, I, the only thing different that I uh, took off of this minifigure was I took the black arm on this side and I took the robotic arm off of this side and put two burgundy colored uh, or dark red if you may um, or if you will onto the uh, the torso as well as adding black gloves and the entire time I was making this minifigure I was talking to iLego Kid and I'm telling you um, there was a lot of commotion because him and I, uh, I was trying to work with him because this was going to be our custom and uh, we were trying to figure out what would make a good color scheme for this uh, this minifigure and uh, we went back and we tried black arms and you know uh, just plain old red arms that would sort of match the top of this hood right here but uh, overall the burgundy would seem to be the way to go and uh, we added black gloves and it turned out fantastic um, you can really see that it really does look like Sith Lord gear and uh, just an amazing look to it but uh, here's a quick uh, 360 view let me sort of build this guy back together here's him without his hood still looking pretty sick if you uh, if you were to ask me and uh, then there is he again with uh, there there is him again with his hood on and uh, here's a quick 360 view of him um, as I said, uh, there's, there's not, uh, the shoulder pads came from the uh, original Alpha Team uh, series line from the early 2000, and uh, looking at the back, there's not a lot of back detailing at all, but uh, if I get a, a good amount of rates on this video, I'll probably go back and fix up the arms as well as the back, um, but again, this minifigure is an amazing uh, custom, and um, Last but not least, I want to show you guys the uh, the dark saber I gave him. So a lot of people view these uh, pieces right here as like Lego forks or something like that, and a lot of people I can get that from, you know, a fork and knife kind of utensil for a Lego. But it also makes an amazing sort of design for a lightsaber because it still has the top of a normal lightsaber uh, Lego hilt. And I just added a plain old translucent uh, red blade. And uh, when I gave that to him, if um, originally I had like a you know a dull uh, silver blade on it that usually comes with all the uh, Lego Star Wars sets out now and their minifigures but once I gave him this black blade it just seemed the way to go and if I do say so myself it just turned out fantastic so I, again I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, custom review um, again I do these customs and these reviews for you guys and uh, hopefully within the next week or so I can start making uh, weekly updates on where I'm at I've uh, I've made a new uh, my own creation or uh, if you will mock and uh, to me I think it turned out really awesome but again I just want you uh, I just want some uh, advice and I want some uh, you know reviews from it and things like that so uh, again I appreciate to all my subscribers and all the people who continue to watch me and as I progress and uh, my journey on uh, or my journey to continue on with Legos so I thank you guys very much and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon this is Stormwalk Studios guys I'll see you later